coming up in this FinCast, a look at the fascinating world of garden eels. I use the Chemapure Elite and uh, Nuvo 16 and you know, a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry-free system because of the Chemapure. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. I'm back in my old studio now. Uh, we had a lot of work done in this room. I actually put in some hardwood floors. If you hear a little bit of echo, it's because I haven't decided on a rug yet. Uh, but that'll happen and the echo will go away. So, so please bear with me. I appreciate you tuning in for another FinCast. We're going to look at garden eels today. I've got an image called up on the computer over here. And uh, I ran into uh, some of the folks who wholesale these out of Atlanta. This is a really interesting fish, but you pretty much need to have an aquarium that's dedicated just to them or with just maybe a very few other fish. These are uh, eels that live in a deep sand bed. And so you'll have to set the aquarium up specifically for their needs. And we're going to talk a little bit about what those needs are today. And, and we'll rely on some advice, uh, again, from, uh, from the folks who sell these things. Um, but it's, uh, it's a really interesting fish. And they're not that difficult to keep in terms of the water parameters. Uh, I think what we're going to find is that the hardest part is getting them to eat. And then once you do, you've got a fascinating aquarium. So let's take a look at garden eels. Typically your sand bed. Now for the show we have it as where uh, you know it's around about a five and a half inch sand, sand bed. Um, but if you go to these big aquariums, Tennessee Aquarium, Georgia Aquarium, you'll see their sand beds over 18 inches. Um, the reason is is you want to do a really thick sand bed. It's because they actually burrow down inside of it with their tails. If you you know don't have a deep enough sand bed, it's going to be like you laying in your bed, but having your feet curled up really, really high, which is very uncomfortable, but at the same time, um, if you do do it with a uh, deep enough sand bed, they're, they're pretty happy. Yeah, um, you, can, you can go nine. You can go nine inches, real, realistically. Um, you can even go five and a half, but just know that they might not be as happy as they would be in the wild. Um, they you know, do your typical brine shrimp, mysis shrimp type deal, um, and typically, uh, they feed off uh, super high currents, so you'll see them. Um, there'll be massive groups of them in the wild. Um, they'll be pretty much right next to each other, and what they do is they feed on you know high high flow currents and stuff brought up on, in the currents. Um, pretty much your typical water parameters. Salinity is about the same as any other reef. Um, you can run a little bit lower on these guys. It's not going to matter too much. Um, but it's like I said, it's, it's pretty much just like any other reef tank. Your typical specimens that you see in most fish stores and most wholesalers is going to be probably around 10 inches. Um, however, they do get a heck of a lot bigger, which is where you run into issues further down the line as, you know, as far as your sand bed. I would probably do them in over, you know, over 200 gallons, um, preferably, you know, something with some depth, um, especially if you want to do a lot of them over 10. Um, because one thing that you'll see is that the males will actually fight amongst each other for different holes for mating rights with the female, with the closest female. Preferably groups of four or more. There's multiple varieties of garden eels. I mean, you have your orange banded and you have your common ones like these behind us. So there's a look at garden eels. Thanks for tuning in for this FinCast. Of course, I've got lots of FinCast dedicated to marine aquaria. And uh, I'll put some links and some cards uh, throughout this video so that you can, can check those out. And if you also like freshwater fish, I've got lots of FinCasts on planted aquariums. And I'm really enjoying my tannin tank where you take botanicals from the jungle, put it in the tank, and you actually leave that tea stain water in place on purpose and the fish are absolutely loving that so if you like the little tiny epistogrammas and and some of those type of fish and you want to see them in what looks like their native environment by biotope you'll want to check out that series it's over uh it's over 10 videos now in that series as we've watched that tank evolve and i've really enjoyed that as well i uh, hope i see you at macna in 2017 and again i'm john and thanks for watching this fincast <laughs>